It's really a case of Prince Harry going missing. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And it's ever nice to see you today. Cold and frosty start already today. Yes, I know. I know you love to know this stuff. <laughs> you know, we come out don't we, with the gloves, the hat, the scarves, everything. And then you think to yourself, where to put the keys? I might you. Yeah, you're like that, aren't you? I know. I wander up and I think now, where is everything? You know, do you find in this 21st century world, and I'll do this quickly, but it's not just me, is it? There's so much more to remember. This passcodes, keys, wallet, phone. Have you got your ear pods? Have you done this? Oh, you know, it's not as simple as it was. Do you remember in the old days, you locked your door, you went out, and as long as you tapped your wallet and thought, it's there, you were off for the day. I know. You agree with me, don't you? <laughs> Lots more to remember. And then when you get to the shops or wherever you're going, do you know your password? Have you got your loyalty card? I mean, it's just never ended, isn't it? Talking of loyalty, there's not much going on in that, is there? With, of course, the former royal known as Prince Harry. But he's gone missing. Strange thing when you think about it, because with Harry, you know, as we now know, he's got a lot of things to plug coming up. His docuseries for Netflix, his book. And then, of course, the ongoing things that he has as a, a chief impact officer for Better Up, whatever that is, you know. But what it's interesting to note now, particularly with Prince Harry, and a lot of people have been asking me this, so we've done a lot of research, is this. How much influence does he have over the Netflix series The Crown? Now, Series 5 has just come back on screen, not doing incredibly well at all. I think people are, first of all, a little bit bored, and the hype is a little bit more. And actually, the people are very miscast, you know. Imelda Staunton does not cut it as our late and wonderful monarch. And Dominic, um, you know, the guy playing Prince Charles, really, you know, not really working out, I don't think. Bit of a mishap with all of this stuff. And I think because it's more in modern times, we know the truth against the fabrication that they're trying to put together. It's interesting, a lot of regular viewers, is the rewriting of history, as we've said before. And more importantly, the people that were pivotal in those stories that have been removed, ironed out. For instance, what happened to James Hewitt? Now, I've met the real James Hewitt in real life. Very debonair, very charismatic nice engaging guy in fact you know uh, i met him backstage on a tv station uh, many years ago now and he'd been on a reality tv show making money that way nice guy not featured too much in the crown now a lot of people are asking why is that the case neil well what we can tell you and as ever we have to say allegedly is this there are certain people that are more litigious than others who have wealth that can stop their shall we say creative story being featured in this soap opera and according to a very good source, Mr. Hewitt is one of them. Also, the people themselves, the producers, the Netflix team, do not want to anger their prize signing. That is, of course, the ex royals known as Harry and Meghan. More importantly, really, just Prince Harry. They don't really care too much about Meghan Markle. Obviously, if they did, they wouldn't have ditched that uh, cartoon idea, Pearl, that she had. But you see, does he have influence? Well, what I would say is this. You know, obviously... <laughs> They do not want to anger him at this point. And when that was in production, he was very much flavor of the month. The moment that he's not flavor of the month is the moment they will simply turn against him too. It happens in show business. I'm sure that Prince Harry is very well aware. But that's why you see less of him and more, if you like, of Prince William and Prince Charles in very much a sort of detrimental terms. For Prince Harry for now, Netflix are protecting their chief officer impact. But it can all change, as I often say here, in the flick of a TV switch. Because if they've decided that Harry is no longer useful, if this docuseries bombs, and if, of course, the Crown continues to lose viewership as it has done, in fact, it's the first badly rated series of the entire run so far, then things could be looking a very tricky time for the Crown. Many people are now saying it's time for the Crown to finally abdicate. And that possibly will be a relief for the former royal known as Prince Harry. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.